The Rock admits to selling Stunner for cases of beer. I'm Denise Jones, make sure to subscribe to The Fumble for all the latest news on WWE. If you haven't seen The Rock fall victim to one of Stone Cold Steve Austin's stunners, his signature move, you're in for a treat, my friend. While everyone understands that wrestling requires both participants to pull it off effectively, one on offense pulls off the move while the other has to react appropriately to said maneuver The Rock, and he always did it slightly differently. Some wrestlers would just fall on their backs, but not The Rock. Almost every time he would fall on his back and then keep going. He would do a damn flip for Pete's sakes, and in some instances, he would go so far that he'd bounce off the ropes and keep going. He's doing so much, and now we know it was intentional. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite The Rock moment was. This will be the end if he connects. Recently, The Rock revealed on Twitter that he would oversell the center because he and Austin used to bet cases of beer based on how over the top he would react. Without any other details about the bet, it's fairly certain that The Rock got a lot of cases of beer while at WWE. His selling is so extra, but it actually worked for him because of course he's The Rock. He somehow managed to make it look believable and ridiculous at the same time. If you're curious as to what a wrestler sounds with the exaggerated manner and with Without the believability, may I remind you all of, um, I don't know, some guy named Shawn Michaels? Yeah, remember that match in SummerSlam 2005? Check it out. Listen, The Rock is still The Rock. He can get away with almost anything and make everyone truly believe that's what's supposed to happen. I have to ask, who's the worst wrestler in your opinion? Let me know in the comments below. For all the best game and sports news highlights, make sure to hit subscribe. For The Fumble, I'm Denise Jones.